Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about how to work with a stored procedures in Python. So when I say stored procedures, I can use any RDBMS. I can use here SQL Server or I can use here Oracle or any RDBMS. Here I am planning to use SQL Server. In this video, I am going to show how to establish a connection between Python and SQL Server, then how to execute the stored procedure through Python code. First of all, let me show you quickly a basic stored procedure which I prepared and which I am planning to use in Python code. So let's quickly connect to the SQL Server. This is my SQL Server window. This is SQL 2016 window. So I have a couple of stored procedures. So let me quickly show you the stored procedure which I created for our example. Very basic stored procedure if you see here. So which if you see here, the name of the stored procedure is get employees, which helps us to get the list of employees in a table. So I gave a bit meaningful name. After that, like I have a wait for delay, so I don't need this and I have very basic statement select star from employee. If you run this select statement, if you see, I have a basic uh, records I have. So I have around some um, five columns and six records, employee ID, employee name, mobile, email and department number. So let's not talk about what data you have. So we, we, our concentration more on how to work with stored procedures in uh, Python. So let me just uh, alter this procedure to make this uh, thing. So now if you see my procedure contains a basic statement select star from employee. Even though your stored procedure contains a complex statements, the process is same. Okay, this is how we prepare procedures in the SQL server. As I told you, I will be using SQL Server 2016 for this example. And there is no change even though you use 2012 SQL Server or 2017 or 2019. The process is same. So this is the procedure I am planning to use. So if I execute this procedure, how to execute the procedure, hope you know that exec and name of the procedure. Ideally, this is how we execute the procedure. So let's select it and run it. Yes, you got this. The same results I am expecting in a um, Python. So once the results are ready, I want to export these results into CSV file through Python in one shot. So what are all the proceed? What are all the things I am planning to use is? So there are multiple steps I am planning here. First step is connect to SQL Server. Second step is uh, execute the execute a procedure export that results to csv file these are the three steps i am doing in one shot so let's do one by one so i, I showed you the processor which i am planning to use then let's go to the python and let's connect to sql server then execute the procedure then export that results into csv file Okay, let's quickly go to the Jupyter Notebook or uh, uh, like a Python, its own IDLE or uh, you can use a spider, whatever the whatever is comfortable to you, just go to the window, that window. So I am, I'm, I feel comfortable in using Jupyter. So I am going here. There is no difference in uh, writing the code. Let's go to the example folder where I created. Let's click on a new file for us, Python 3 file. You can rename if you want here. So here by default un, uh, untitled, you can name it as a um, proc. Just just to identify whenever I log in next time, I want to identify the name of the uh, file so that I can easily say that this belongs to this uh, procedure execution. Now here, so let's import some namespaces which are required for us. Import um, pyodbc. This is required to connect to the RDBMS. Next import couple of some more um, CSV, um, some more namespaces, import CSV to just export the result into CSV, 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಪಾಂಡಾಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ದ ಡಾಟಾ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೋರ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಡೈನಮಿಕ್ ಬಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟಚ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ಟಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ಎ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ದಿಸ್ yeah let's put the connection here if you really see this my connection contains driver driver equal to sql server native client 11.0 and server equal to my name of the server so here i have multiple instances of sql server on my machine that's the reason why i'm calling my ser- sql server with sql server 2016./ database name is sample user id is venkat and password is also venkat so both this is how so now you might be having a question can i connect with windows authentication yes you can connect through windows authentication even so by removing these two user id password and you add trusted connection equal to yes you can do that and once once it is done then let's take a cursor equal to con dot cursor okay so now i i can simply say that i can start print so file load started or just connection established or something like that i can make a okay next so i am going to take one variable to say what query i am planning to execute so do you really need this variable it's up to me i can manage without this variable also so why i am trying to write is to do the to improve the readability of the code i am making a variable as i told you how to call the procedure so whatever the query you are planning to execute let's try right here so my code is this exec get emps it's come here type put here so if you directly want to keep select statement you can directly keep the select statement also i'll show you if required that also now once the query is ready then let's take one more variable take it as a result or results whatever it is pandas where i already imported the namespace pandas dot read underscore sql query of you need to pass this query comma connection so because i already created one more variable for connection let's call that yes so ready so now once it is ready then let's export that results into you can, you can display if you want i can use for loop to display let me put it for let's this let's export into csv first then we'll go to the for loop required so results results is a variable dot to underscore csv if you really see this i already imported namespace of csv then i can directly use the results underscore csv and i can put a file name as a uh what i say uh emp data i can make it as emp data dot csv that's it and let's uh, close the connection close okay so this is how we do it see i if you really see this i'm i simply given the name of the file and let's run this and see what what is the data you are able to see are you getting the headers or or not getting the headers let us see let's run it okay so i just uh, ran it and you can see file load started whatever the statement which i started it's already started and complete also i i forgot to add one more statement here file load file already prepared for us let's go back to a folder and let's refresh here you might be see yeah there might be a file at the end you can see it has been created seconds ago okay let's run this let's open this you can see it do you see this emp id emp name mobile email and department name you can see the data whatever the data which has been prepared for us so at the end we have a commas why because if you really see this all department uh, numbers are null that is the reason why you are having so let let's take one more flag let's add one more flag and see what is happening i'll add a index equal to false index equal to 
false now let's uh, close this file and let's run it or let me add one more statement at the bottom so that i can say that uh, file file uh, load uh, completed okay so now let's run this by pressing uh, shift uh, enter yeah, here file load started file load completed then let's go back to this and refresh it or you can see file has been created let's open it you can see if you really understand the difference at the starting point i got a comma here in the previous now i did not get any comma why because i made as index equal to false so this is how we do this is how we do connect to the sql server and execute the procedures and we export the data into csv files or if you really want to display it you can simply put it as a uh, for uh, i in in results i can make it as results okay so now print uh, let me try it i am just trying here it works or not now let's run this yes you have it here employee id employee only columns i am getting it so i might need to do different way but that that let's not we won't display like this in the anywhere real time so let's let's take this take this out okay so on the whole you might have understand how to connect to a sql server and how to execute the stored procedure in python so that's all about it if you have any questions in python please don't hesitate to ask please drop your question in the comment section i'll try to answer as soon as possible also follow me on facebook for more technical updates please like and subscribe for more technical videos thank you thank you for watching